April 30th, a Tuesday, the last day of April 2019. My, oh my, time flies when you're having fun, hey? This is another happiness is homemade type of video. Plus, it is going to another special person that works in the school system at McGregor School and gives Legacy a smile on her face just about every single morning. Now, if you watched the previous videos, we did a beautiful, or I did a beautiful book fold using a book dedicated to Miss Rita Hayworth. That is going to go to Miss Legacy's second grade teacher. Now, I'm going to do a vase fold. This is a book from the Dollar Tree. So it is smaller. It's not like the books I buy from the library. That's where I have to go to find an extra tall or extra wide or different pages. At the Dollar Tree, the books are hard covered, but the pages are very flimsy. So we'll do a type of vase fold for this special person. And I will use Dollar Tree ribbon probably to decorate it. Of course, Dollar Tree florals. It's going to be in a pink tone. And I do have some leftover pink velvet swirl that I've used various times throughout the last two years. I purchased it online. It's called an upholstery type of fabric. So it glues to everything. And it's stands up to time. As you watch the slideshow, you'll see the pattern, but I get that online. Anyhow, I might do a demonstration in a few minutes after the slideshow gets started on this particular pattern. Okay, so subscribe, stick around, grab yourself a cup of coffee or a glass of iced tea, and enjoy this cute little video and I will break in now and, a now and again with a live demonstration. Let's continue. Here I am, going to give you a live, de live demonstration. Now to cover a book, you want to do this part of the book first, okay? The back. Because this book is going to open up to display a vase. We want not to wrap the entire um, book cover because it won't open easily as I would want it to. Now, if I'm going to just use upholster fabric, this is when I need to cover the book. I will do this part first and then add to the back, add to the front, and then I will crease it inside because I will have another design inside covering my creases. So that would be how I would cover this book. However, I'm covering it now before folding, and I already just explained why, plus this is just a velvet smooth upholster fabric. It's designed perfectly as it is. However, if you want to add mixed media to your book art, like sometimes I do, and you want to decorate your cover, you would do the cover last after you do the book folds, okay? You cannot, you cannot cover the book right now. 
it just depends on how your cover is going to be um, reason why is because when I book fold I press down a lot to you know secure the creases that I make for the folds and if I were to have rhinestones on the front you know more pictures it would ruin it it would destroy it so you would cover the book last then if that is what you would like to do you would do the fold then the inside and then you would wait for it all to dry to flip it up or to stand it up or to flip it the other way if you wanted to to create your cover but since this covers is going to be a fancy cute pink velvet swirl and it's beautiful on its own I'm going to do the cover first and that way once I start pressing and adding the creases it won't even ruin the front it might get a little dirty because this is fuzzy but I can clean that up later okay so there's your little tip of how you would apply a cover if you so choose and then what type of cover so let's continue let me apply the, apply the cover starting with the very end of the book first and yes I'm going to use fabric tack and I will use hot glue this time in high heat because fabric upholster is very thick and it does stick very well with hot glue but it will last longer if we use fabric tack as well all right let's continue with the slideshow this is a lot of fun it's like a piece of puzzle Hello, this is Miss Jonesy, and I'm going to demonstrate this vase fold. Now, it is two separate folds, so it's going to take two pages to create one part of the form. Okay, now I'm going to try to do this with the camera in front of me. Thus, I see the camera window screen instead of the book fold, so bear with me. Anyhow, in my book folds, I always fold it the opposite way on the very front cover. Not to show the folds. Okay, see how the folds look? So this side I do opposite. But I want you to get used to the original fold in the original way. Then you can learn how to do it the opposite way. Okay, so the first fold is going to be a cone. The second fold is going to be the shape of the vase. And that's how our, our picture of this vase will start. Okay? So once again, let's start with the cone. You take this page. You go upward like this. To form a triangle. Okay? You're taking the bottom upward. Then you're going to take it again and fold it in the center like this so it looks like half of an ice cream cone you see how that's shaping and then you're going to take this piece up here and just fold it across like this on the brim of your book and then once you have it folded tuck it inward all right that is our first 
page. It's a cone. We started from the bottom. Now, flip it. And you can press down on it this way. Now let's create the base of this vase. Now we go from the top and come down like this to form the triangle. All right, then we take this bottom page and we just form it right about there to form another tiny triangle. And then we take the point of the triangle and bring it in to where it ends right here with this tiny triangle we created from the bottom. This forms your base of your vase. Now, as you can see, it pops out and it depends on the thickness of the book. This book is a Dollar Tree book. The pages are very thin. However, I did rip out close to a hundred pages. So what I'm going to do now is take my hot glue just a dab and make sure that that fold stays you do not have to do this if the pages are thicker because this fold will stay but if the pages are thin and you're not going to make a tight type of base then add your little glue to this triangle fold to keep it in its shape right and there you have it you have your beginning of your base it's going to look like this don't worry about your cover right now or this part of the book just worry about getting your pages folded to shape the base. When this page, when this side gets really thick, you'll see me place a hammer or you'll see me place something heavy right here to keep the pages down. So anyhow, let's do one more cone. Take it from the bottom. Make the triangle from the bottom. Make sure you have some room to do this as well. And take your time with it. It's repetitive, but in the end it's beautiful. And then fold it again so it looks like, you know, an ice cream cone. Take this little tip and just use the brim of the book here and fold it and then tuck it in all right and there's your cone now let's do the base part we're going to start at the top form our triangle and then we're going to go to the bottom and just go right up to where we can make it into a point. Kind of looks like a sailboat, the way the sails would look. So you have your, your larger triangle and then your small one. Now you take the tip of this triangle and go inward to where this ends. And then you fold it. Let me see if I can bring it closer. See how it looks? This is where I will add the hot glue so that this fold stays. It's always been a, a little issue with me depending on the book I use when I create this vase. And you can't see the glue. You just use a little bit amount. If you have Elmer's glue, that's fine, but it doesn't set right away. So hot glue does, and just a dab, and there you go. All right, so then this is going to form the vase. Look at that. 
Isn't that different? And isn't that cute? Now it doesn't look like much in the beginning. And it's like I said, you have to do about 150 pages to 200 pages on this thinness of this Dollar Tree book. Each book is different. That's why book art is never the same. No matter who is doing it, who is creating it, the book is always going to be different. And the person's uh, touch as well because it depends on how well you press down or if you, you know, add your glue to keep it formed. You don't have to, but I am on this form because this form does tend to come apart. Now you might even want to glue in the little tip right here on the top if you prefer. It's no big deal. If you want to, go ahead. So here we go. This is the book fold. I have the camera right directly in front of me, so I'm trying not to talk loud. But this is how you begin your form of this beautiful vase. Now when I get to the back, I, like I said, I reverse the page so that I don't see that fold, you know, that triangle fold. All right, I reverse it like I did here. And you can glue this page too if you want to, and I have. I glued it. That's my beginning. But when this opens up, as you know from my other book art, it will be way over here. This is a thick book, and it will fan out into a vase. Then we can add flowers if we want, or leave the vase the same, and then just add decorations to the back. So, I hope this helps. I hope it's not confusing. And let's continue folding this. And we'll go with decorating it when I'm finished folding it. How are you doing so far? It may be a little frustrating as the pages progress. I'm like on a page 150. Now, sometimes I fold the book this way and then I continue my folds. I also want to remind you that I did a very simple fold last year in 2018. I probably will link that vase fold to this video because it was a gift as well and all the vase fold consisted of is folding the pages in half that was it it fans out into a really pretty vase but it's cylinder looking kind of like a candle but it's wider you can do that fold start with that fold if you are trying to do this difficult fold and it's frustrating you I cannot stop you from how you feel you are a human being first then an artist second, right? And it is a difficult fold once the, bait, the book gets thicker. Now, as I go along, I have been ripping out a few more pages here and there. You can do that if that helps you along and if you feel how thick it is going. But like I suggested, if it is frustrating you and you want to do a very simple vase fold, I will link that video, follow that video, very simple. And there you go. Never give up. Book folding is an art. 
but yes it does get frustrating at times when it gets thicker but don't worry pages are forgiving as well all right if you make a mistake rip the page out if you feel it's not going to bend the way you want it just rip it out go to the next page okay when this is all set and down and it fans out it looks beautiful all right so here we go let's continue with this face fold Alright, I'm coming down to the last few pages. I have done this for about an hour and ten minutes, but I have glued some of the pages, so that takes time. But yes, I'm down to the last few. I will count out how many pages I actually used, okay? Just so that it gives you a, an idea how, of how many I used. But you have to remember the height and the width of this book as well for your vase. Alrighty, thanks for sticking around and like I said, let's continue with the slideshow and the fun part is yet to begin. This is where the fun begins. Now we can place, or I can place more upholstery fabric right here and then let the vase remain the focal point, the point and then add the flowers. You know, I can do that. Um, it would look very nice, very classy. Uh, after all, this is for somebody that makes Legacy smile every day at school. Or I can get construction glitter paper and cover this up and bring more pizzazz and bling. I can find a photo of that person and add that to chipboard. Don't place the photo on this because we have I have fabric. If you didn't use fabrics, fine. But since I have fabric, I would have to place that photo on chipboard and then place it, measure it out and place it right here. I do not have a picture of this person um so i'm not going to do that i think what i'm going to do is keep it basic keep it simple and just add more upholstery fabric to cover this and then i will just detail the vase a little bit and add flowers and of course i'm using dollar tree roses pink roses and maybe maybe some of this ribbon we'll see and then I have a leftover little bit of purple ribbon. I'm not sure if I'll use this or not. But sticking with it being affordable, you know, this is a Dollar Tree book for a dollar. And then I've already had the upholstery fabric. But like I said, I probably might link also the area where I buy the upholstery fabric. In case you ever want to use upholstery fabric, it's great for making jewelry boxes. If you look way back in the beginning, in 2017, there is a huge guitar case jewelry box that I made from scratch. I was going to take a guitar case itself and then repurpose it, but they're very heavy. So instead, I traced a pattern and then I built it up with cardboard and I used purple upholstery fabric and gave it to my daughter and she just absolutely loves it she has it still today hanging on the wall it is supporting everything her jewelry and everything so go all the way back to 2017 and the very beginning it was like one of my biggest projects that I ever videotaped and I think it is in a two-part series or a three-part series I'm not sure
But anyway, let's the fun. The fun begins. Let's cover this up and continue with it. You'll see photos in the end. And I thank you for sticking around. Happiness is homemade. Make your children or your grandchildren's teachers and favorite people in school book art. Take your time with it if it's your first time. And be creative. That's all you have to be. Art is freedom. I might make a shirt this summer that says art is freedom. Hashtag. Because I like it. I like the idea that I combine freedom with art. Because there really is no rules and restrictions and laws. And you don't get disciplined or fined for art. Now if you're doing it in the suburbs and then you're painting on somebody's house well of course but that's not art that's vandalism there's a difference people we all know that well enough said thank you once again subscribe and i send my blessings out to you and yours and that was a kiss to you from northern michigan